oxygenated blood is going to come into the heart from the lungs on the pulmonary veins. So the left pulmonary veins are these red vessels here. The right pulmonary veins are the red vessels here. Those are all going to lead into the left atrium. Oxygenated blood goes from the left atrium to the left ventricle and then up and out the aorta. As we get to the top of the aorta here, we have the aortic arch. There are three tube-like structures that are on the top of the aortic arch. Brachiocephalic, left common carotid, left subclavian. This left subclavian is going to go under the clavicle, subclavian. You can see the clavicle cut right here. Left subclavian is going to come out like that and feed out into the arm. Left common carotid is going to go up like this up the left side of the neck. That's what you feel when you check your pulse on, on your neck. That common carotid is gonna go up. It's gonna split into an internal and external carotid that are gonna feed your face and your brain. But what you're seeing right here is the left common carotid up the left side of your neck. This first branch here is the brachiocephalic trunk. Brachium means arm. Cephalo is with reference to the head. So brachiocephalic trunk is going to branch into the right subclavian artery and the right common carotid artery. That would, be the, that would be the artery you feel if you check your pulse on the right side of your neck, okay? So brachiocephalic, left common carotid, left subclavian. This one's gonna branch and feed your arm and your head. This one's gonna feed your head. This one's gonna feed your other arm. All the way out like that. If we continue, down this aortic arch, it's gonna go into the thoracic aorta. Thoracic aorta in the thoracic region where your lungs are, passes this muscle right here, the diaphragm, all the way down into the abdominal region. We call this the abdominal aorta. That abdominal aorta splits into the iliac arteries. Iliac arteries, like a wishbone here, are gonna split and start feeding into the legs. That's oxygenated blood getting delivered to the tissues of the body. Deoxygenated blood is gonna come back from the tissues of the body on the blue lines here. These are the iliac veins. This would be the left iliac. This would be the right iliac. These come together and form the inferior vena cava. This is deoxygenated blood flowing up or superiorly towards the heart. This inferior vena cava is the same inferior vena cava that leads into the right atrium. So if we set this heart back into place, you can imagine that inferior vena cava coming all the way up, carrying deoxygenated blood into the right atrium, draining the inferior side of the body. Draining the superior side of the body, including the arms and head, you have all of these blue lines here leading down towards this right atrium again. The names are similar. This is going to be the left subclavian vein under the clavicle. This is going to be the left jugular. Left jugular and left subclavian come together and form the left brachiocephalic vein. Here on the right hand side, we have the right subclavian, the right jugular. So from the arm and from the head, that's where we get the term brachiocephalic, from the arm, from the head, brachiocephalic. The brachiocephalic vein on the right side, brachiocephalic vein on the left side, draining the arm and head, brachiocephalic. These brachiocephalics lead into the superior vena cava. Superior vena cava takes deoxygenated blood into the right atrium, right ventricle, pulmonary trunk, out to the pulmonary arteries. That's deoxygenated blood into the lungs.